Hello, my name is Matthias and today I'd like to give you a short demonstration of a Stitch Buddy HD. Um, Stitch Buddy is an embroidery editor. In the past it was only available for, for Mac OS X on Apple computers and it, it's now available on iPads and I just want to give you a short introduction, show you some of the main features. So I will do this in the um, iOS simulator on my Mac so maybe it will be a little bit difficult to to use some gestures which will be much easier to use on the iPad itself. So we'll see. Um, after opening um, Stitch Buddy I just see the gallery. It just contains one, one design here. Uh, I'll double, double tap on the design to open it in the editor. Um, I can select stitches by um, just dragging the finger over them. Um, I can delete them of course. I can select other stitches, move them around with a finger tap. Oh, something like that. Um, if I want to select other stitches, um, that would be selected additionally to the one that are already selected. So uh, it's important to just deselect them if I want to change some other part of the design. For example, the two here. Um, I can also select stitches if I just uh, tap on them. Um, then all select, uh, stitches between uh, jumps and color changes will be selected additionally. So sometimes that's an easier way to select something of your design. I can change uh, the position, of course. Um, I can zoom into the design. Um, I can change the size of stitches, for example. Uh, also, you sh should um, limit this uh, changes to maximum 20% plus minus so otherwise the design might be become too dense or maybe too loose. So uh, another thing I can do is I can rotate stitches. Uh, for example if I take this complete design here just move it around something like that. Or I can zoom out by a double tap. Um, if I deselect We'll see this red colors. Uh, normally some design uh, file formats have um, file um, pa um, color palettes that are included in the design. Uh, also I can change this red chart for example here. I will just change it to Sulky Rain. Um, the colors are a little bit different. Uh, I can change colors of single threads for example make this some, some kind of, of red something like that. Um, I can do a lot of more things. I can um, copy stitches into the pasteboard and uh, paste them in other designs so I can combine different designs into one file. Or uh, for Genome Jeff files, for example, I can change the hoop size. Or sometimes when you purchase a design that has a, a wrong hoop size, something like that, you can change this, correct these things. Or um, I can zoom in of course um, as you already uh, saw by using the spread gesture I can double tap to zoom in as well. Um, I have a lot of view options for example I can use the 3D effects they look pretty good but um, that's a problem with the 3D effect that it uses much more memory and computing power than, than the, the normal display so there will be a warning presented after that. Uh, it looks good, but um, honestly, I wouldn't use it for huge designs because sometimes it might cause problems on the iPad. So I just switch it off again. Um, when you're um, leaving a design, turning back to the gallery, you will be asked if you want to replace the existing file. Um, you can create a new file with a little different file name, or of course you can discard changes. I will create a new file now. So. Now in my gallery there are two files, of course. I want to share it with somebody, so or maybe I would like to send it by email. But um, in this example I have to convert the file first because my friend is uh, using a browser embroidery machine. So I will tap on the add button. I will use convert. Convert it to browser path because that's the other file format for browser embroidery machines. Uh, it was converted. I can now send it to my friend, email the design. I can also email only a PDF with details or I can uh, email a real size template as a PDF. 
Now we'll choose a real design file. Um, I will enter the uh, email address or can send it. I can enter some text, change the subject, of course. It's, now it will be sent as an attachment to this mail. So that was just a short introduction into Stitch Buddy HD. It's available in Apple's App Store, of course. It runs on iPads or with iOS 5.0 or higher. And it costs only $29.95. So I think it's a good way to work on embroidery from um, embroidery designs on your iPad, on the go, on if you're couch surfing, you can open designs from email, from Safari. Um, well, from my point of view, it's, it's a pretty good embroidery editor, but that's not surprising because it was written by me. Okay, thanks and bye.